right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. Working back on the 65 Cornet, and I've got a little bit of a problem. Let me tell you about it. So yes, the engine bay is still black on this car. Again, this is not my car. I am working on this car for a friend of mine. So getting past that, it's a, it's a factory AC car, um, and the owner wants aftermarket air conditioning in it. So we'd like to get a full kit entirely, but this being a 65 model, it kind of makes it more difficult because there's not a company that reproduces um, the entire kit for a 65 model. You see, I got my rust encapsulator in here. Went in and stuck my plug back in and patched up my few small floor holes there. So all that should be good to go. Um, I can get a little, more, little bit more insulation in, drop the carpet back in. But the heater box, see it lit up down there, is pretty large. So I called uh, Classic Auto Air. I believe they're out of Texas. And I talked to a guy, he gave me his extension. Basically he said, I got two options. Um, if I wanna reuse the uh, vents underneath here, like there and over there under the steering wheel, um, I would buy one of their universal kits. So it's either the custom cooler kit or the street rod kit. Um, and he said before he went ahead and sold me one, he wanted me to double check the dimensions of the stuff inside here, be sure they would fit uh, because they are about eight to 10 weeks out on this stuff. So I need to hurry up and get that ordered so I can get that, uh, get it here as soon as possible, put in the car and get the car back to the owner. So uh, just a quick review of these two kits. So for a quick comparison, I'll show you the custom cooler kit uh, is actually 24 inches by eight and three quarter inches by 10 inches tall. The street rod kit is 20 and seven eighths by seven and a 16th by nine and a half. So the street rod kit does look a little bit smaller. Either kit would probably work fine in this car. I'm going to try to get the larger kit just to have a little more volume uh, of air moving and stuff. I wanna see, um, it looks, see back into here, it looks like I have a gobs and gobs of room, but I won't really know until I get that other unit out. Um, I'm not certain if it will come out from under the dash. Typically they do without having to pull the dash. I don't wanna pull the dash. And if I can get this big dude out of here, then uh, my life will be a lot easier going back with a smaller unit. And of course, I'll have to mount the smaller unit. Uh, it will come with new pulleys, brackets, evaporator, everything for the car. So if you were wanting to, if you were wanting to put uh, some kind of aftermarket air in your old hot rod, etc., then this video should help you. I uh, I will personally uh, do the kit in this car. And I'll do an install video on that once everything comes in, in eight to 10 weeks. So I'm gonna try to yank this out real quick, get a measurement on it and call them up and make my order. It's kind of like everything about this car is uh, some kind of clue to what its old life was. Here's the panel that I just pulled down. Check this out. It's full of old toothpicks and some shattered glass. That's pretty interesting. This panel probably won't go back in since it was all mounted to the bottom of fresh air vent. See the, that rust right there? That could have been part of our water intrusion as well. Uh, the air box on that side. All this goodness is coming out, so it should have loads of room once it's all freed up out of there. I'll just go ahead and pull that big dude off there. Look at some of that yumminess. I bet I can run my vacuum real quick and catch that before it all lands in the floor. But yeah, plenty of leftovers from years and years. All oh, that'll be cleaned out nicely and not be blowing through the interior forever and ever. So that'll be a plus. There we go. 
So oh, there it is in all its glory. That dude probably weighs 35 pounds at least. I unplugged all my lines, unplugged my electrical connections, all that jazz, but it, I bet you most of this stuff's still good. If somebody out there uh, was gonna reuse one, they could probably rebuild this fairly easily. Um, for my total length, I'm going to say around 29 inches or so. I get all the way to the end. Uh, about 11. 11 pretty good. And then my height. So I just got finished talking to Mr. Dwight. Um, he got me set up here. Everything's ordered. The whole entire kit. So first thing we did was measure for condenser. Uh, get one to fit the opening. Second thing was uh, the actual box. So I compared my box to the one that he's gonna send me. Uh, third, we checked on the uh, vents. This car actually has the cool, and he said, check, check on that. This is something I'd, I guess I've never seen before because I'm not used to these old cars where this vent will actually stand up and you can blow it on your face where it'll go down and blow on the windshield as a defroster. That's kind of awesome. Uh, my chrome vents on the bottom. I'm going to get those hooked up. The other one for here uh, is behind the car. You can see the wiper arms down right there. Um, let's see what, oh, and the controls. So I got a polished control. I believe it has, it'll have three knobs. I can mount it just right here underneath the key panel, uh, or key switch, whatever, ignition switch. Um, so it'll be out of the way and I don't have to hack the dash up or anything like that. Somebody put a goofy temperature gauge in there anyway if you do need a mopar kit of some kind i would recommend giving them a call it's classic auto air they're out of texas uh, his name was dwight extension 8023 um, he answered all my questions got everything ordered up and the car is going to be ready soon so they'll come back and we'll install that here before long thanks for watching